always wanted to be a writer, but I did not know how to write a book. And I had a really bad habit of writing first and second chapters and then losing all of my momentum. I hadn't learned what my process was. And as it turns out, I'm an outliner. So I need to know where I'm going in order to get there. Um, I was working as a copywriter. I was writing movie trailers, um, you know, like in a land without justice. You're welcome. Uh, so that's what I was doing for a living. And then my dad passed away and I could not sit in front of a computer screen anymore. It was just torture to be in my own head with my grief all of the time. So I thought, all right, I'm going to make a change. And I did a very stupid thing, which was I <laughs> quit my well-paying job that had benefits and I went into makeup and effects because I had always loved makeup and I'd always loved costuming. And I thought this will be a way that I can make a living and, and maybe pay my way through an MFA program. And the thing that was extraordinary was, in some ways, when I look back, I think, oh, this was such a foolish thing to do. But I also am not sure I would have written my first book if I hadn't done it. Because instead of writing all day and feeling exhausted when I came home from that, I would be on my feet all day. I'd be working 10 or 12 hours on set. And I would come home and I would still have the energy to write because it was a different muscle that was working all day long. And I was storing up story ideas and inspiration all day and I would come home and I would write. And I knew I had a certain amount of time to do it. And I had also started outlining at that point. Um, and so when I got the idea for Shadow and Bone, instead of thinking, well, it's just gonna be another false start, I thought, no, I'm gonna finish this one. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it in the next six months. It may not be good, but it'll be done. And then the next one can be good. And that's still the way I draft today. I write a terrible, messy, confused, full of placeholder first draft, and then I go back and I revise.